Zero Accounting Software 2023 Budgeted Income Statement Reports. Get ready to become an accountant hero with Zero 2023. Here we are in our custom Zero homepage. Going into the company file we started up in a prior presentation. Get great guitars. Let's duplicate some tabs to put our reports in. We're going to go to the tab up top and duplicate that tab. Tab up top and duplicate that tab and then back to the tab to the middle accounting drop down opening up a balance sheet report this being a comparative one if you don't have a comparative one open the standard one tab and to the right accounting drop down same thing on the income statement this is a comparative income statement if you don't have it open a standard income statement last time or in prior presentations we've been putting together our budget so we basically took the data input or the information that we had in our system, two months of data input. We exported it to Excel as our starting point to create a budget. We wanted to create a budget for the entire year. Therefore, that two months of data input, we kind of thought of as if it was the prior two months of uh, November and December, used it to construct a 12 month budget and then we imported it from here back into zero so that we can now run reports from it. So note how zero fits into the system then. We want to think of it as first, we want to export from a zero typically to something like Excel so that we have more capacity in Excel to create our budget oftentimes. And then we want to take it from Excel and put it back into zero, possibly using the template to do so, or possibly just doing the data input so that now once in zero, we can run reports from zero in our same system as time passes. For example, we're imagining here January and February has passed and therefore we have actual data for January and February as well as the budgeted data, and we can run variance analysis uh, within Zero, which is one of the major uh, tools that you will have for it. All right, let's open up another tab and look at some of our major uh, reports. We'll also see how we can kind of adjust the, the reports if there's an error in it or something, which we have here. We have an error in it, so I'm gonna duplicate it, which we made on purpose. We purposely did the error because we don't really make mistakes over here, but sometimes people make mistakes, so we try to uh, demonstrate in our practice problems like mistakes being made and how you can fix them if you if you uh, if you if you make mistakes so I'm gonna hit the drop down and let's go into our reports and then we're gonna go into the so we made our budget manager now we've got our two main reports which is uh, the budget summary and the budget variance the variance is the one that really uh, is helpful as time passes because it gives us that differential whereas the budget report kind of just repeats what we kind of have in Excel over here although it gives us those subtotals and whatnot in a nice format for us so let's open up the summary first I'm going to right click and duplicate it and up top we've got our summary report so uh, this is this is the data we've got the uh, overall budget now remember we could have multiple budgets uh, that we, we could put together. So that's another great tool that we can have because we, we might want to run different variants or different variantial budgets. Then we've got the from point. We're going to be saying uh, January uh, 2023. The periods represent the intervals that we want to show. So normally we would have the month by month breakout or you might have like a three month by three month. That would be a quarterly type of breakout or for the entire year. So currently we have here one month at a time and the number of periods that we want to show is we're gonna show uh, the 12 periods. So if I update that, then we're showing January on through uh, December. So if I wanted to, sh to show something on a quarterly basis, then I could go and say, I wanna show it every three months. And then I, I would think that we would only want four periods four periods of three month periods uh, and that would give us our quarterlies so so now we've got uh, March June September and December and then if we wanted a half year like every six months we can go to the six months one and in that case I would think we would only want two periods and those would end on June and December 
and then we could do a yearly one with 12 month periods, which in this case, we only have one because that would be our uh, yearly number. So pretty neat breakout to kind of be able to get us to those different types of reports uh, that could be like a quarterly report uh, or a semi yearly report or a yearly report. So I'm gonna go back down to the months because that's the way we did our data input and I want 12 months, so 12 periods. And there we have it. Now we had this issue with the data input last time and we can see if I look at this compared to my data input here, I'm at I'm at 1037 in January and here I'm at uh, 1706. So one way we can try to compare this is to just keep on looking at the totals as I go down. So the first thing I would look at is at 34606 and go back on over here and say, all right, does that tie out to these three? Uh, uh, these three in January, 34606, it does. And then I get down uh, to here, I've got the cost of goods sold, 25275. So that looks, that looks 25. 22977, 22977, and then, uh, and then we've got this amount uh, here, and that's basically the amount that could be throwing us off because it's going into basically other income. So if I so if I uh, take my difference down here, I could say, what's my difference if I took my uh, one o uh 1706 1706 and say what's the difference between the two it's that 669 if i divide that by two i could see it's that three three four so this one's going the wrong way because it's it's in that other category so it's in here and it's it's that other income i want it to be like showing as an expense so i'm going to put that in as a negative and that hopefully should shore this up so I'm going to go back to the first tab and let's fix our budget by going to the accounting drop down and then we're going to go into our reports and then we'll go into our budget uh, manager, the budget manager. And then I'm just going to go into the, I'm going to get rid of the prior period showing and then let's show it on the full view that looks good and then i had this amount i want it to be in there as a negative so i'm going to say negative and i'm just going to put the negative all the way across because i don't want it to mess up anything else so i'm just going to go into each of these even though it's tedious and i probably could copy it across but i'm kind of hesitant to uh, do anything drastically incorrect since this one